Arkansas's governor signs her signature education plan into law and it'll go into effect later this summer. Thanks for being here. I'm Brennan Evans. And I'm Phil Reeves. There's still a lot left to do in regards to the education bill. So we have team coverage tonight from Fayetteville and Little Rock to cover the new law in reaction to it. All right, let's start with Brett Rains, who spoke to the new Secretary of Education about the Arkansas Learns Act. Hey, Brett. Well, now that Governor Sanders has signed the Arkansas Learns Act into law, there's a lot of work that has to be done before it's implemented at the start of July. In fact, the Department of Education has to write the rules for that massive 145 page bill. And today we asked the Secretary of Education about it. And I'm proud that the bill I'm about to sign is the largest overhaul of our state's education system in Arkansas history. As a product of Arkansas public schools, this fight is personal. With kids next to her, Governor Sarah Sanders signed the Arkansas Learns Act into law. The 145-page bill addresses everything from school safety to school choice. What's called education freedom accounts in the bill allows for public dollars to potentially leave a public school district and pay for a child to attend a private school or learn at home. Most families end up staying in their local school district, but when parents are empowered to choose, all schools work harder to attract students. Competition breeds excellence. And there was bipartisan agreement on probably 60 to 70 percent of the bill, but those two core components, uh, the, the, the voucher program specifically, is what drew the most concern from Republicans and Democrats. There were Republicans who voted against the legislation as well. Senate Minority Leader Greg Letting says Democrats agree with paying teachers more. The bill raises minimum salaries to $50,000 a year. Teachers already making that amount or more will see a $2,000 raise. Now it's up to the state to implement the new law. Secretary of Education Jacob Oliva says says committees are being formed to help write the rules and letting says it will take some time to see just how the Arkansas Learns Act will impact the state. Some topics and themes identified are on the sections of school safety, topics identified around how we're going to improve teaching and learning, topics uh, are identified around how we're going to implement the school choice component. So we, we've identified some of the themes that have emerged from the bill. We're going to put the educators and experts in the leaders in the districts who have their, their boots on the ground together, sit around a table. We're going to be clear, transparent, make sure everybody has an opportunity to provide feedback and get that work going right away. It's not even going to be fully implemented for three years. There are a lot of concerns about the cost, uh, the price tag, and whether or not the state's going to be able to sustain all these promises it's made in this legislation. So uh, we'll see. Time will tell. And Secretary Oliva says starting now he'll be traveling across the state meeting with school administrators at nearly every school district that he can. And on Friday, he says he'll be meeting with 15 superintendents in Northwest Arkansas. Live in Little Rock, Brett Rains, 4029 News.